passage begins right now, this is a question that many souls in the awakening process are asking themselves lately. There was so much ado around the full moon on June 20th in the portal opening up and for blissful times coming up after having walked through this portal into new earth and a world of unconditional love, many still have been feeling devastated, tired and mentally, emotionally and physically drained, especially the female collective was challenged the past couple of days just shortly before the new moon today. So what is it and how much longer do I have to cope with this? First of all, many of us have made the shift into new earth frequency and are now fully anchoring and adapting to it. Although that can still cause some wobbles physically, emotionally and mentally, those moments pass quickly and they are mainly triggered by collective pain as it has happened for the carriers of the larger portions of female energies the past days. With Mars going direct, all of a sudden, the masculine energies of doing and implementing streamed in with full power, that caused the pendulum to swing quickly to the other side, causing the female to feel suppressed, left out, rejected and alone, combined with the male overload. It led to massive annoyance and anger attacks against the male collective. Twins tended to project this all onto their male counterpart. Impatience and frustration with the male of them just not getting it and not showing any effort and ignoring their divine counterpart was a major factor coming into play. As always, there are major learnings in there. Shortly before the new moon in Cancer today, we were shown very old, hidden blockages stemming from earliest childhood, that we should let go of. This mainly dealt with the general mistrust and the feeling of having to do everything on our own. Not receiving the guidance and support from others and from the spirits we would need. If this resonates, make sure to look bravely into your energetic mirror and transmute the energies. It is really time to go deeply in touch with our inner child to regain his or her trust to rewrite the story of the past and heal the wounds that cause our behavioral patterns today. New moons are always a time of new beginnings, so letting go is a necessary process before each new moon. The cancer energies are even intensifying the push into letting go of past hurt as it tends to be more past and emotion oriented. Everything that is in the way to find balance and authenticity is triggered to surface to be healed. The message I was constantly receiving during the last week was, the age of balance and authenticity is here. What does that mean? It is very simple, everything that is in the way to find inner balance and balance with the whole is triggered to the surface to be healed. The same counts for everything that is not authentic and not in line with the true self. Every old energetic pattern we picked up that is not aligned with our original soul frequency will have to go. For many it feels like losing everything they had. One thing is very important to understand in this process, we cannot lose what belongs to us. If we lose something then it is meant to go. We are to trust the process and know that the times will come when we look back and will understand why it had to happen exactly that way. It is important to not become clingy because of fear silencing the mind and not even trying to make sense out of what is happening right now is a major step to take now this planet and with its energies and all humanity are in chaos for exactly the same reason micro and macro are absolutely congruent just as our bodies and system as well as our partnerships go into chaos we observe how the weather goes crazy how mass shootings terror attacks political revolutions take place, volcanoes erupt etc. All of these things are nothing but a proof that the old system is coming to an end. It has to go into chaos to be able to be rebuilt. It is a physical law, that rigid structures cannot change. This planet and humanity are ridding themselves of old outdated patterns and low energetic frequencies to be able to create a brand new 5D template. We as light workers are the forerunners to support this shift and that is why these collective energies are running through us to be transmuted and transform darkness into light, low frequency to high frequency. We are leaders guiding the way for the first big awakening wave of the masses that started in March this year. Our support in understanding what is going on is of utmost importance. 
we as light workers are leaders guiding the way for the first big awakening wave of the masses that started in March. For those amongst us, that are still going through heavy emotional or physical pain lasting for days or even weeks, here are some reasons, why you do not feel and experience new earth yet. 1. You still have personal healing to do. Living on new earth permanently is only possible when we have raised our frequency to the high light quotients of universal love. If we still carry low frequencies of fear, the new surrounding energies of light and love are causing the darkness to surface. Old wounds and patterns are pushed into our energetic experience this way and can cause immense pain. Working with our ego and inner child in combination with high frequencies of gratitude and forgiveness are highly recommendable. It is important to understand that we cannot skip the lesson and it will present itself again and again, until we embrace it and work through it. 2. You seek the answers in the wrong place. One of the biggest lessons we are to learn during the awakening process, is that we can find our answers only within. Very often we are relying on what other people say, be it psychics predicting our future or rating a certain situation or relationship and giving recommendations what to do. This will keep us in the ego spiral and from moving forward, as we do not trust ourselves. That is not the idea of an empowered soul in a physical body. The whole awakening process is about finding back to our true authentic self and self-love. And one big big part of it is that we trust our own intuition and discover that we have all the answers inside of us. As long as we are still relying on others more than on ourselves, we are not loving nor trusting ourselves and are handing over the power and steering wheel for our reality to someone else. 3. You are still denying your mission and purpose. For many, mistrust is still a major issue and a belief that we have to work hard to make it in this world as we are so used to competition. So rather than following our calling and heart, we are still staying in a regular job that we hate but gives us a feeling of security. We are too scared to jump into the unknown and follow our passion and dreams. It does not mean at all to change everything overnight, but, at least we should start working on what we really want to do. Sometimes it is enough to cut back a bit from our regular job to make some space to start out new and try how it is received. If it is the right thing, it will grow quickly and we will get all the support that is needed to get into our mission. It is important to learn trusting the process. 4. You are still recalibrating to inner balance. Before we can strive for outer balance, we need to find inner balance first. And that means to leverage our own masculine and feminine energies. The feminine aspects are, right brain, being, surrender, allowing, intuitive, abstract, patience, nurturing, receiving, contemplating, feeling. The masculine aspects are, left brain, doing, striving, analytical, concrete, forward going, giving organizing, thinking. These need to come into a balance so that we can find the desired inner peace. No matter what stage of your journey you are in right now, please know that living in 5D does not mean to live in numb and sheer bliss at every moment. It means to feel everything and welcoming all sensations, knowing that they all have their purpose for our growth and the evolution of mankind. It means to understand the importance of our job of transmuting energies for the collective and the planet so that we all can ascend and change the physical reality we live in. The more we reach that state, the more duality and linear time are dissolving. Living in the now finally becomes the only reality. It is tough for our ego to accept that all that is happening is happening for our ultimate good. Trust that it is the case. The more we move forward and transmute the energies the better and more balanced we feel. We arrive in a state of being when we get out of drama and just know. This too shall pass. That is what going with the flow is all about. Appreciating the highs and the lows and see the purpose and potential in everything. End of the message. Much love to all of you soul sisters, brothers. Watch DNA previous videos for better understanding. New subscribers will be updated with the latest articles and informations. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual spiritual path. It's a good karma to put a like, 
comment, subscribe and share with your beloved ones, leave your suggestion in the field below, all the love to you, beautiful soul.